Hello everyone, me and Prathamesh, we are around to answer any questions. So in case anyone has any questions that are technical in nature uh, and based on the modules that you just had a look at, uh, then you can ask those questions here. Uh, Vithal is asking that uh, we are executing certain codes based on the lesson. Do we need to submit it? There's no submission here. You are just supposed to try it along with the videos on your own machine. So there is no reason to submit it specifically. Um, if you observe the course, there are certain quizzes in the course and they are just to for you to be able to review uh, what you just learned. Uh, they are not like we are not going to score you on the quiz. Uh, any or you know we are not going to ask you to, to give the quiz officially anywhere uh, it is just a way to uh, for you to review what you are trying to do uh, mawson has asked can we do these codes on jupyter notebook instead of spider you can yes it is possible uh, the behavior of the code for example how the code in the output looks like I mean, technically, nothing will be different. The code will be correct. Your solution will also be the same. But certain things may be a little different. For example, in Jupyter Notebooks, you have to be very careful as to how you execute the cell so that you're not mixing up the code, etc. Somebody else has asked, can we use PyCharm? Yes, so you can use any IDE that you are comfortable with. If you are already aware of that IDE and its feature, please use that ID if you want to. Uh, although, uh, please note that uh, we will be using something called Python environments in the Django session. Uh, Anaconda has good support for Python environments by default, which is why we asked you to install Anaconda. So the Django, the Django uh, sessions on our uh, platform will happen on Anaconda. You can still use any IDE that you choose, but just for reference, we are letting you know that Anaconda has certain features that are well supported. Uh, somebody has asked, how long will the videos remain available? So we have kept it available for about a week after the course. You can still go back and refer to them. Uh, we have similar content that runs every month. So even if this course closes down, you can always go to the monthly Python courses that run on the first of every month and refer to that information again. Someone is asked that Canopy is not on the internet. Uh, how am I supposed to download? So you're not supposed to download Canopy. Uh, we've had portions of the video where Canopy is referenced. Please avoid uh, using canopy canopy is no longer available we have uh, we have hence used anaconda only uh, we will give you information about the monthly courses at the very end of this uh, of this workshop that is after the two days of the workshop so you can always uh, get that information later yes vivek asks that uh, when i used while loop uh, when I executed a while loop, I pressed control C to abort it, but it doesn't work. Uh, this is a very common problem. Uh, the situation is that control C is a common uh, exit uh, key combination for Linux. In Windows, it is tricky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For Windows, you may have to look for uh, the proper uh, key combination. So let me see if I can find it. If I can find it, I'll drop it in the chat. Uh, so some people say that control break, the break button works properly. Uh, I don't know if this works because I don't have, I don't have a Windows machine. Please see the link in the chat. It has some key combinations that seem to work. Uh, for Vivek Kumar asking about the control C option, uh, I've dropped a link in the chat. It says that there's a control break keyboard uh, combination. Can you please try that and see if it works? Uh, 
if not yes unfortunately you'll have to uh, close the terminal and start it again any more questions we are still around uh, time is up for the actual q and a session but in case you have any questions we are still around please proceed with the next session that is core data structures core data structures is uh, something that runs for about an hour roughly an hour hour 10 minutes after that we will have a lunch session for 50 minutes that is from 1 pm to 2 pm and then we will meet back here at 2 pm sharp for the live django installation and environment setup uh please understand that uh, in case you fall short of yaksh modules or videos you can always catch up on them after the day is done or after the live session is done live sessions unfortunately cannot be repeated so please be available for the live sessions right on time uh, because we will not be able to repeat information multiple times for different people joining in at different times thank you